In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, your word says in Jeremiah 17, 10, that I, the Lord, alone probe the mind and test the heart to reward everyone according to his ways, according to the merit of his deeds. We decree this verse for every prelate who is an enemy of your Catholic Church. We pray that you quickly remove the scales from their eyes and help them see the error of their ways, to repent of their words and actions, and come out forcefully in support of the truth of Orthodox Catholicism. We pray for their conversion right now and invoke Mary, Mother of the Church. Hail Mary, full of grace and love, the Lord is with you. Most blessed are you among women, and most blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Immaculate Mother and Mother of God, pray for the enemies of our church now and at the hour of their deaths. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Hi everyone, Charles with you here on a Tuesday afternoon. Cardinal Rainer Wolke, the Archbishop of Cologne, warned Catholics in a homily yesterday that the church, adapting to the spirit of the age, would make her lose her prophetic mandate and mission and would render her of no worth anymore. <laughs> Cardinal Wolke made his remarks in a January 6th homily he delivered on the occasion of the Feast of the Epiphany, which celebrates the coming of the three wise men to Bethlehem. He warned the church against adapting herself to the world and reminded his hearers that the three wise men, as well as the builders of his own Cologne Cathedral, would had placed a star atop of its crossing tower, were intending solely and exclusively to seek and to proclaim Christ as the light of this world. Man, according to this German prelate, needs this light in order to find his way, especially in our time, in which the orientation towards the true salvation has become difficult due to the confusing uh, uh, pluralism of offers of salvation. Even in the church, he continued, this orientation seems to have gotten lost since a polyphonetic choir of opinions, personal views, and interests seeks to relativize and adapt to the world God's revelation and the church's faith. And then we'll skip down a little bit here. Cardinal Wolke also pointed back to the whole faith of the church as it is being proclaimed and lived in an unabridged manner and as it has been laid down by the apostles and as the church has borne witness to it and has preserved preserved it over time. That faith, he explains, helps us that we do not follow erroneous lights. The prelate went on to say that this true faith contains truth that transcends time and that preserves the church and the gospel which has been entrusted to her least she adapt to the spirit, to the views and opinions and to the feelings of a certain time period. Well, there's more to the article, you know, if you want to read some more about what he said. And I think those are very good cardinals. He's one of the few, a few prelates in Germany that's got his head screwed on correctly. All right, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.